Exercise 3. Levine Company uses a sales journal, a purchases journal, a cash receipts journal, a cash disbursements journal, and a general journal. The following transactions occur in the month of March, and we're asked to journalize the March transactions that should be recorded in the sales journal, assuming the periodic inventory system is used. Now compared with the sales journal that we saw previously, the difference here is that we do not include the columns for cost of goods sold in merchandise inventory, as cost of goods sold is not calculated at the time of the sale in a periodic system. The sales journal will be used to record the sale of merchandise on account. March 2nd sold merchandise costing $390 to Nagy for $585 in cash. This would not be recorded in the sales journal, but instead in the cash receipts journal. March 5th purchased $2,850 of merchandise on credit. This transaction would be recorded in the Purchases Journal. March 7th sold merchandise costing $1,053 to Anklam for $1,527, terms 210 net 30, invoice number 5704. This is a sale of merchandise on account, and it is recorded in the Sales Journal. We would include March 7th, the date. The account debited would be our customer, K. Anklam, invoice number 5704, and the amount of the journal entry, debiting accounts receivable and crediting sales, 1527 March 8th borrowed $8,000 cash by signing a note payable to the bank. This would be recorded in the cash receipts journal. March 12th sold merchandise costing 263 to Swanson for 421 terms net 30, invoice number 5705. This transaction is recorded in the sales journal, the date of March 12th, the customer's name, Swanson, invoice number 5705, and the amount of the sale, $421. March 16th received 1496 in cash from Anklam to pay for the purchase of March 7th. Any transaction that would affect a debit to cash is recorded in the cash receipts journal. March 19th sold used store equipment for $900 cash to Algoma Inc. This is also recorded in the cash receipts journal. And on March 25th, sold merchandise costing 440 to Sayers for 691, terms net 30, invoice number 5706. This would be recorded in the sales journal, including the date March 25th, the customer's name, the invoice number 5706, and the amount of the sale 691.